cerebral perfusion pressure, or CPP, is the net pressure gradient causing cerebral blood flow to the brain. It must be maintained within narrow limits because too little pressure could cause brain tissue to become ischemic, and too much could raise intracranial pressure. Definitions The cranium is a box with three components, blood, cerebral spinal fluid, and very soft tissue. While both the blood and CSF have poor compression capacity, the brain is easily compressible. Every increase of ICP can cause a change in tissue perfusion and an increase in stroke events. Equals from resistance equals, CPP can be defined as the pressure gradient causing cerebral blood flow such that where CVR is cerebrovascular resistance equals by intracranial pressure equals, an alternative definition of CPP is where MAP is mean arterial pressure, ICP is intracranial pressure. This definition may be more appropriate if considering the circulatory system in the brain as a Starling resistor, where an external pressure causes decreased blood flow through the vessels. In this sense, more specifically, the cerebral perfusion pressure can be defined as either or physiologically, increased intracranial pressure causes decreased blood perfusion of brain cells by mainly two mechanisms. Increased ICP constitutes an increased interstitial hydrostatic pressure that, in turn, causes a decreased driving force for capillary filtration from intracerebral blood vessels. Increased ICP compresses cerebral arteries, causing increased cerebrovascular resistance. Flow ranging from 20 ml 100 g 1 minute 1 in white matter to 70 ml 100 g 1 minute 1 in gray matter. Autoregulation Static autoregulation, under normal circumstances, average cerebral blood flow is relatively constant due to protective autoregulation. However, although the classic autoregulation curve proposed by Lassen et al. suggests that CBF is fully stable between these blood pressure values, in fact CBF may vary as much as 10% below and above its average within this range. Outside of the limits of autoregulation, raising MAP raises CPP and raising ICP lowers it. CPP is normally between 70 and 90 mHg in an adult human, and cannot go below 70 mHg for a sustained period without causing ischemic brain damage, although some authorities regard 50 to 150 mHg as a normal range for adults. Children require pressures of at least 60 mHg. Within the autoregulatory range, as CPP falls there is, within seconds, vasotilitation of the cerebral resistance vessels, a fall in cerebrovascular resistance and a rise in cerebral blood volume, and therefore CBF will return to baseline value within seconds. These adaptations to rapid changes in blood pressure are known as dynamic cerebral autoregulation. Footnotes. References. Sanders, M.J. McKenna. K. CH22, Head and Facial Trauma. Mosby a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Paramedic Textbook. Mosby. CS1 Maintenance, Extra Text, Walters, FJM. Intracranial Pressure and Cerebral Blood Flow. Physiology. Retrieved February 10, 2011.